So just a very quick video here showing an error on my 3D printer. I've just come out to my little workshop this morning and tried to start the Ender 3 and we've got an error min temp. Now you can actually see the ambient temperature there is pretty low. It's sort of three, three to four degrees. Oddly the nozzle is one degree warmer, I don't know why. Um, but it's very cold. It was the first frost of the autumn last night in the UK. So the temperature went down to about minus one. It's slowly rising and it should rise to about 10 degrees by, by sort of midday. So what I will do is keep an eye on the outdoor temperature and I will try this again try printing again when I try to, to print it just won't print it just shows the error um, so I'll try again in an hour and then another hour and we'll just keep an eye on the temperature rising and find out at what point it starts to work I'm guessing it'll probably be five degrees maybe ten degrees but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see I, I did look on Google couldn't find a definitive answer there were a few YouTube videos showing this error but they were all due to faulty thermocouples um, and it, it was a sort of an incorrect error this 3d printer really is that cold and it really is truthfully showing the error message and why it won't print I can, can only guess it's due to condensation maybe in the power supply there's a danger that uh, it's too cold, there could be ice or condensation on the electronics. But uh, obviously once it starts warming up and starts printing, the, 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 the printer generates its own heat. So everything gets nice and toasty and warm and will, will dry off any condensation or, or whatever. So it, it's just getting it to start up. It just won't get going. This other printer here is, is exactly the same. It's um, and turn that one on. Let's see what that one shows. Yeah, that one actually says it's ready. That that had a min temp error earlier. It was the same text, but written uh, sort of full screen. It, it just said uh, error, unable to print, error min temp. So. Um, Just try and see if we can get that one to attempt to print again and see if that then starts. That one should be the same temperature. Yeah, there you go. Error min temp bed printer halted. Please reset. So it's slightly different to this display. Slightly different text but same error condition which you'd expect because that prints at the same temperature so um, what I'll do is I'll leave these I'll leave these switched on so that the uh, the power supply is powered up and generates a small amount of warmth and we'll We'll keep an eye. Oh, we've actually got five degree now on the nozzle. I think it's the bed temperature that it uses as the uh, the sensor for the ambient temperature, not the nozzle. So as soon as that bed temperature comes up over five degrees, I'll try this again. We'll see uh, see if it gets going. Okay, so the temperature's risen a bit now. We've actually got. Six degrees for the bed, and strangely ten for the nozzle. Don't know why that's so much warmer. Let's just try turning this off. And see if it will now print. It says 
bed heating. Let's just see if that bed temperature starts to rise. Yeah, it's gone from six to seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it looks like five degrees is the cutoff point. If the printer is below five degrees Celsius, it won't print. It'll throw the min temp error. Let's just try restarting this one over here. Let's see if we can get that one to print. Says bed heating. And that one, the the nozzle is a lot closer to the bed temperature, and the bed temperature is now rising. Okay, so that is printing as well. I can only believe that the thermocouple on this one here for the nozzle is slightly out of calibration um, because it's sort of reading uh, was reading a couple of degrees higher than the bed, they should all be at the same temperature, it's nothing has warmed up apart from the ambient temperature. So it looks like 5 degrees C is the minimum working temperature for the Ender 3. Well, I hope that was useful to you and uh, look forward to showing you the next video. Thank you for watching, bye.